Okay, gentlemen, now we head to the, probably the most difficult part of uh, stripping MI cable, and that's to make sure we get the correct distance between these two accessories. So what we're going to do, we're going to get your MI cable, we've already made one end off, and we're going to introduce it into the accessory. So in it we go, in the side, we then have a look at that cable. Now making sure that's pulled fully back, we have a look at the cable and we'll see where that cable touches the outer side. What we're going to do, we're going to cut this cable to length so we make sure, again, we add at least two or three fingers and we put our final mark where we're going to cut this one to length without junior hacksaw. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this MI cable to length, again using our junior hacksaw. So what we're going to do, go over to our press mark we made. And put our cable to length. What we make sure we do, all spare bits of cable go straight into the bins. This way we minimise the risk of trip hazards. Because if you stand on MI cable, you can easily slip, go backwards and damage your head. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to go back to our mark which we made, which touched the side of the box. That mark there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to strip off the outer sheath. got to now make sure we do is take our joy cutter because the blade has to stop by that mark. So we're going to take our joy stripper, put it on to our cable where the mark is. We're going to make sure we remove the width of the body of the joy stripper, that stage there. So we put our thumb on that part, put another mark, and then what we're going to do, we're going to remove the outer sheathing up to that second mark. Now, there's different methods of doing it, but I find this one the easiest. Because what we're going to do, we're going to use that mark. We're going to use the outer sheathing as a method of stopping the joy stripper once it gets to the required length. Because what will happen, the joy stripper will go all the way down, keep on cutting, keep on cutting, keep on cutting, until it hits the outer sheathing. When it hits the outer sheathing, it will stop automatically, and you will find that the blade will be in the exact position for that mark which we made on the side of the accessory. Now, once we do that, that will give us the perfect length of cable to go between the two accessories. So what we'll now do is, we'll now strip the cable. Again, now what we've done is put our cable back into our work mace, holding the cable with your left hand, supporting it as much as possible. Again, we're going to shove on, making sure it starts cutting, and we're just going to move our left hand away as we go. Exposing the conductors. If the outer sheathing gets too long, Fold it over, keep our hands moving, supporting the cable as much as possible. And eventually, the out sheathing will stop the joy stripper, allowing you to remove it. Now it's at this stage now where we can have a look again Put your shroud up and remove the correct amount of outer sheathing. Again, get it straight in the bin if possible. I've missed it a few times. Now this is the most important one. We've got to make sure both of our shrouds are on. So our first one will go on, make sure we get the right direction. And then we'll get our second one. Second one goes 180 degrees opposite our first one, as you can see there. Slides down out of the way. And then this is where we fit our pot again. Putting our two shrouds on, we're now going to get our 
pot and we're going to enter it on as we did before. Once that's entered on, again, we're going to fill our glass and body and then put our seal down, hand tight, test at that stage, make sure we've got no direct shots and then once that's done, we're going to compress our seal fully home, make sure it's nice and square, retest again at that stage to make sure that we've got no direct shots and then once we're happy it's clear, we've got a good reading, we're going to actually install it and uh, finally finish off the installation. So I hope that helps. Thanks very much. Bye for now.